while the northern crested caracara is common throughout Central America and the northern part of South America, it has a limited distribution in the United States. While small populations can be found in Florida and Arizona, the largest population is found in Texas. Population size may be decreasing in some areas, but it is estimated to have increased more than 5% per year in Texas from 1980 to 2005. Caracaras are part of the falcon family, but unlike their cousins, who are mostly small and fast-flying, caracaras are rather sluggish and are often scavengers. Caracaras spend more time running on the ground than other birds of prey and will often chase down their meal. They also need an open area that allows them to take a few steps before they take off. Caracaras will take a variety of prey, including rabbits, ground squirrels, skunks, birds, frogs, snakes, lizards, turtles, young alligators, fish, and large insects. They apparently cannot open a large carcass by themselves and have to wait until a large animal or vulture makes the first opening before they can partake. While it's not unusual to see a raccoon washing its food in the water, it's not often that we see other critters doing it. Considering what the water in this guzzler looks like, we're not sure if the characters are really trying to wash them off. As hot and dry as it's been lately, it seems just as likely that they are trying to rehydrate these reptile meals. We wouldn't be surprised if lizards and snakes are a little dry to begin with, and by the time you start tearing one up into pieces and flying around with it, it's probably starting to get drier and tougher. We're not sure how much soaking them helps, but we sure aren't going to criticize how they prepare their meal.